Hi, I'm Jamie, and today I'll be introducing NI Veristand for use in a hardware in the loop testing application. So, in this case, we've got a real life altitude controller used for an F 14 aircraft. We don't have access to the F 14 aircraft, however, we have simulated the operation and behavior of that aircraft in a model running on this PXI controller here. NI Veristand is used for closed loop control systems. However, it's also used for testing certain components in that closed loop control system. Having discussed the F14 closed loop system that we have in place, let's have a look at how our test correlates to the V diagram approach, whereby the development runs alongside the testing of a control system. The design stage involves designing the controller from first principles. At this stage, both the controller and the plant are simulated in separate models running on the Veristan engine on a real-time target such as PXI. This is known as model-in-the-loop testing. The prototype stage involves a, the finished prototype running on the real-time target, but this time controlling a real plant. During development, individual components of a model are tested on the Veristan engine, again with a simulated plant. The hardware-in-the-loop testing stage involves the completed controller controlling a simulated plant. Finally, after all the development and tested is, testing is completed, the final iteration controller is tested with a real plant. In our test, we are performing hardware in the loop testing. Having discussed hardware in the loop and how our test follows this principle, let's have a go at running the test. We now have the Veristan workspace running. This is our user interface to our plant F14 model running on the PXI and our real-time controller. To begin, the F14 is ready, steady at 10,000 feet. If I now set the desired altitude to 12,000 feet, this signal is sent to our real controller via a DAC analog output channel. As a result, the controller responds by sending a command to the elevators of our F14 model, read in by a DAC analog input channel on the PXI. As a result of this, the F14 begins to climb to 12,000 feet. The controller is kept informed of the plane's current altitude and can adjust its co commands accordingly.